Daphne, I have to stop seeing you. Roger, why? Have I done something wrong? Oh, it's not that. You're the kindest, most supportive woman I've ever dated. You put up with all my quirks, we like the same kind of movies, and you don't try to make me dance. Oh, and you're so wonderful with my guppies. I always liked fish. Oh, and they can tell. Your company is neat, your conversation is engaging, and that thing you do with the cues of cello. So why break up? Oh, I'm tired, Daphne. Tired of me? No, just tired. I haven't slept right since we've been dating. I've been up, waking up in the middle of the night, thinking about you, and it's costing me a fortune. For treatment? Home shopping club. There's no other TV on at 3 a.m. Oh, this is for you. A porcelain dog. How nice. Oh, do you really like it? I'll treasure it always. Oh, here. Well, have, have the whole box. I had to order all they had so they put something else on. I wanted to look at something different. Those are ugly. Roger, listen. Lack of sleep is no reason for us to split up. We can still make this work. You, me, and the porcelain dogs. Well, it's no use, Daphne. I have to sleep. Sometimes I can nod off at work, but the boss just doesn't understand. As if flight patterns are more important than somebody's life. The business world can be so unfeeling. I spend a lot of time thinking about you, too. Last week I got in trouble. I was remembering your warmth, the way you smell, the way you kiss. Three inmates escaped and the sergeant was really mad. The other guards think I'm a silly romantic. You don't really want us to stop seeing each other, do you, Roger? Well, we'll talk about it later.